welcome. I'm so glad you're joining me today. In today's card, I am featuring or I'm showing you how to use those scrap papers that would be left over from your previous projects. So you can see here, I've already gone and selected a few different colors from my stash. And I'm using this a large stacked poinsettia die, which is going to be released on July 25th for the Christmas and July series uh, 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 stamp sets. And I've only used three of the smaller sizes and die cut that. And I've also used the stacked arch die, which is from the past release. And I've actually created, I've uh, put two sizes of arches together because I want to create like a thin frame of arch. And you'll see what I'm saying. And I'm going to add a cardstock in underneath it. And I'm going to run it through the die cut machine. And here you can see I've cut two of them. And then I'm going to put them together to create that oval shaped um, uh, frame and I'm also going to use the larger of the two uh, dies and I'm going to cut another solid arch because that's going to act as our base for us to put these colored cardstock. Next I'm just going to cut these colored cardstocks uh, half an inch in um, size and I'm going to do that for all the papers here. I'm just doing it quickly and here you can see I've um, cut them all into that half an inch uh, strips and now I'm going to add, I'm just kind of placing that frame that we created or the arches, the, the thin arches that we created. And I'm just going to create that oval frame on that solid arch. So I'm just trying to get the placement. I'm so sorry, for some reason in this video, uh, many a times I've gone off camera and please, I really apologize for that and make sure the next time that doesn't happen. Anyway, so once I'm satisfied with the way the frame is created, I'm just going to um, adhere them with some tape. I'm mean, not really adhere, just, just a temporary adhesion. adhesion. And I'm, going, I'm just trying to see how large that frame is going to be on my cardstock base. And once I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to take a pencil and draw inside the frame to mark the opening of that frame that I've kept there on the right, you can see. And now all I've left to do is just uh, adhere the strips of cardstock in uh, whatever uh, way you want to adhere, you can adhere it. I have gone from the pinks to the red greens. And then I've also added a pop of blue just because I wanted to add a different color there. And then once I'm done with that, all that is left to do is you just cut it around that arch. And then you can see how that frame fits right in that colored uh, stripped area, if that makes sense. And now I'm going to remove that extra piece that is hanging. But before that, I'm just going to adhere that those two frames together to create this large oval frame. And then I'm going to cut away the excess bits. There will be a portion where you can see that it has been adhered together and don't worry about it those are going to be covered by what we're going to do next i decided to add some foam tape to this frame here just to give it some dimension you can definitely convert this into a, a shaker card at this point but i did not do so and here you can see i've added that frame onto that uh, stripped paper and you can see how beautifully the strip paper shows through that oval frame that we have created. I'm going to use this another um, leaf die uh, from a previous release and I've gone ahead and cut that using some yellow cardstock. I also cut away the excess bit hanging out of that frame and I am now going to start placing those um, pieces in an arch in an oval underneath and you can see now when I start adding these elements to the frame that place where the connection has happened between the two um, pieces or two thin frames will not be seen because we are covering it up using these uh, poinsettias and the leaves so I'm just going to place them uh, in that oval bottom oval shape uh, just to make sure that I can cover up those um, connections and I'm just adding three poinsettias and I'm putting that leaves in between and here I'm adding the third one so these poinsettias actually you stack them so when you stack them make sure you um, uh, like <laughs> like you move them I am not getting the word right now anyway so that they look stacked so they're not all in one line but they are they have layers that you can show 
I've also cut this uh, sentiment or stamped the sentiment onto a red cardstock and this sentiment comes from a new card stamp set called Tangled Moose and I've also done that in red embossing uh, powder. Now all that's left to do is to adhere this frame directly onto my um, note card and here you can see how beautifully this uh, this this uh the the frame that we created and the strips of paper that we could use um uh, to create this card and it comes together really easily again because there's not much stamping there's most of it and no coloring most of it is just card stocks and paper here i'm just adding some gemstones and i've added some aqua pearls to the poinsett here and i'm adding some golden sequins to uh in a scattering to just add some extra interest and here is the close-up of this card i hope you enjoyed this uh, video and you give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to our channel and i will see you next time bye bye